Hello everyone! Hi, my name is Kim and welcome to my channel, Native Lady Bookwire. And today I am going to be talking to you about what I'm going to be reading for the month of October. Lots of stuff going on in the month of October, but yes, let's get started. <laughs> everyone so first let me welcome you wholeheartedly back to my channel Vitoava, welcome and i've been away for a long time and i don't want to go into a whole bunch of stuff of why i haven't been on 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 booktube for a while but basically it's just been work i've been swamped so i really want to continue my my voice in this space especially when it comes to indigenous author lit i am trying right now to organize my work life and also my life my reading life because i miss it so much i am so excited for the month of october it's halloween month and there's all these spooky reads and horror reads so i just really want to jump back into me talking about books what i'm reading and then also what i love and also books that i i'm I'm purchasing or books that I'm getting from the library. Okay, I'm just gonna get right into it. So I'm actually participating in one readathon. I thought about participating in two and I'm looking at my TBR stack right now and I'm just like, no, Kim, just just let it be. Just <laughs> focus on one uh, reading readathon right now. And that readathon, of course, if you haven't heard, is Brie from Channel Lock Booktician. Black Oweenathon. I this is my second year participating in Black Oweenathon. Uh, the first year, I I guess I was really no, new to BookTube and I didn't know what the heck a readathon was to be honest. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna put the prompts right here. So these are the prompts for Black Oweenathon, and I'm not gonna really get into the whole details of what book is for what prompt because I don't want this video to be very 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 long. I mean, I just want to talk about what I'm reading and I'm so excited to be back in this space with you all. Not only am I participating in Black Oweenathon, but I got two new Indigenous authored reads that I want to get to or at least start this month. Well, one of them I definitely want to finish in October and the other one I probably might finish in November, but we'll see. I just want to put it on everyone's radar because these books are new and yeah, I'm just so excited. Okay, so let's get into what I'm going to read first. So the first book I'm going to read for Black Oweenathon or just October in general is All Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris. This is, I think it's a, a crime fiction thriller, but also I think it's the character who's Elise Little John is also a corporate lawyer. She's a black woman in, I'm guessing, a very white corporate space. I think I missed reading this for Books and Lala. They read this for the Literally uh, Dead Book Club and I, I missed it. I started like the first chapter, but work just would, pulled me under and I wasn't able to finish it. So it just says a taut, sleek thriller that's also a searing story about secrets. We can never manage to leave behind and this is also a debut this is very recent it came out last year but there's also another book out by this author that came out this month and oh i can't remember what it's called hold on one second so so that new book that I, I came out i think it came out this month that book is called anywhere you run and i think it's a spin-off novel from this uh what i heard uh from a character from this book so yes i'm actually wanting to put that book also on my tbr but as far as i know the library that i go to they, they ordered that book so it's not at the library yet so, but i definitely want to check that out so i'm excited to read this i heard a lot of great things about it so yes first read for october oh i forgot to mention vacuinathon is a readathon that focuses on crime thriller horror and mystery that are all written by black authors so yes that is like one of the things that you're going to see that has in common with all these reads okay so the next book that i'm going to be reading for uh black weenathon is light seekers by femi coyote i believe that's how you pronounce that author's name but the author i believe uh it says here they trained as a clinical psychologist in nigeria this book is it's it's a thriller. It's also a crime fiction. 
and a mystery wrapped all in one but don't quote me on that the things i'm gonna i'm not gonna read the the whole entire what this book is about because i want to go into this book new i remember checking it out not that long ago and but i didn't get to it so i had to return it to the library so this is me checking this book out again and um the back it says femi coyote's debut novel about an investigative psychologist quest to uncover the truth behind the mob killing of three university students is an original and fast-paced thriller that masterfully explores the smoldering historical tensions underpinning underpinning modern day nigeria the role of social media the complexities of family friendship and belonging i was reading the back of this book and that's what uh encouraged me to get it there's also another booktuber out there i cannot remember who recommended this book you know what it might have been brie but i'm not sure but yeah the second book i'm gonna, gonna be reading for this month the third book that i'm going to be reading for this month is tony morrison's beloved i am ashamed to say that i have not read this book yet in my opinion a lot of people don't say that this counts as horror but it definitely does i think any element especially when you're talking about slavery definitely has horrific elements in this and i also heard that there's haunting in this book so i don't want to read the back <laughs> i don't want to i i just heard about a few things from this book from other booktubers and readers and reviewers that that love this book that have reviewed it especially on bookstagram so i'm so excited to read this and i don't want to find out what it's about i just want to dig into it and i think oh i forgot to mention i'm showing you all these books in which the order now i'm going to be reading them in so um beloved is probably going to be the third book i'm going to be reading uh for the month of october so yes excited to read this I also checked, I'm probably going to be checking out the audiobook for this, for this read. So I'm probably going to be hybrid reading this book as well. So, yep. One of the prompts also for Black Aweenathon is that you have to read a book that's written in the 20th century or published in the 20th century. Not so sure, but I'm going to be reading this next book. Um, well, this is definitely written in the 20th century. I think this was published in like, what, 19, 1987 when this book was written. And then the next book I'm going to be talking about, I'll put up right here because I'm going to be e-reading this book. And that book is called The Gilda Stories by Joel L. Gomez. So I heard this book. I, I don't, <laughs> a lot of these books, you're going to be hearing me. I'm not going to be digging into what these books are about, but when I heard like sapphic horror, vampire stories, um, horrific in, in terms of the background of slavery as well. And I also heard that this book takes place in the 1800s, like mid 18, maybe to early to mid 1800s. I really want to read this one. I think this also book would, would check that mark off for not only 20th century read, but also queer rep. I don't know exactly how long it is but i know that this book was first published in 1991 or two yes this definitely definitely qualifies under those two so the next book that i'm going to be reading i actually got this book from a very awesome booktuber and book reviewer and book vlogger book everything and i'm going to be reading sorrow land by river solomon this book also has pretty strong multi-genre elements of horror fantasy and of course everybody knows who <laughs> river solomon is but um yeah i'm excited to read this one i actually got this book as a present from as a gift from stephanie from stephanie bookish so thank you so much stephanie for getting me this book uh i so love you and i cannot wait to read it and i'm gonna be reading this pretty for the month of october so i can't wait and um i just want to say well one of the things that was written by um, Marlon James, who wrote Black, Black Leopard, Red Wolves. It says, Sorrowland is a, is a wonderland of fantastical and frightening magical and real in a world of refreshing like ours, yet scarily the same. At the center of this world and leaping off the page is Vern, unstoppable, unforgettable, unforgettable, and unlike any one you have ever seen before. The main character, Vern, is pregnant at the very beginning of the book and i think they're they're escaping a strict religious i don't know like group i think last year i read for black awinathon specifically i read river solomon's the deep 
and I loved it. So I cannot wait to read this book. I'm excited. And yeah, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the sixth book I'm reading for October. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Victor Laval's uh, Destroyer. So I'm going to be reading this as well. I'm really excited because I also have been looking. I actually wanted to read Eve, uh, Victor Laval's Eve, but I'm missing one one book out of that. I think I have book one, book two, book three. I'm missing book four and I have book five, something like that. Yeah. So um, instead, uh, until I get that complete set, because I just know I'm going to be, I've been running around for it, trying to find it. But this one is complete and I cannot wait to read this, but I know um, this has, it has inspiration from Frankenstein, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. But when I saw the cover and it just, and I was reading and I read the back, and one of the quotes from Daniel Jose Older said, brutal, beautiful, perfectly timed, brilliantly conceived like the original horror classic. Destroyer, Destroyer raises all the important questions of the world we live in amidst bone crunching action and gruesome excellence. So yes, I, hi son. So I can't wait to read this. This is, um, I think the seventh, uh, yeah, the seventh book that I'm going to be reading for Bacalinathon and, uh, this very much falls into the horror category, so can't wait. All right, so I'm on a roll. <laughs> so the next book I'm going to be reading for Bacoinathon is Quay Corti's uh, Wife of the Gods. Brie also recommended this. I was in a used bookstore. I can spend hours <laughs> in a used bookstore. I Sometimes I'll go through each book on a bookshelf. And then on the next week, if I decide to visit or I happen to be in that same bookstore, I'll pick a different bookshelf. And this is actually the first of a series called the Darko Dawson series. And this is a crime thriller mystery um, novel. This, this follows a investigator who is from Ghana and a woman who is a, a medical student ends up murdered. So he's investigating that murder because not only does he speak his own language, but he also speaks the person who was murdered's indigenous language. Dawson is a rebel in the office, so I think he doesn't use always necessarily the traditional means of investigative <laughs> techniques or, or skills in order to solve mysteries and crime within his area. And that's fine by me because I love, and as far as uh, some of the stuff that I'm reading on the back, like a strange relationship with a family he left behind. I just feel like this is also going to be a good character read. And also, I'm going to be looking for the second book on this one. Um, so I'm excited to get to this. And this is also a recommended read by Brie. So can't wait to get to this. And I don't know how many pages this is. Usually when I read like a crime thriller, I start out pretty slow because I was like, okay, I, uh, let me just get this character in my brain, let, let it soak in. And then I'm just speeding through the book and I'm just, I can't. Yeah, sometimes I'll finish like a book like this, like within a day or evening or a couple evenings. So can I wait to read this? Uh, Wife of the Gods by Quay Corti. So yes. Okay, so I'm, ha I'm up to eight books right now and I'm being so ambitious with this TBR. But another recommended read from Brie and this one's a YA. Um, the Taking of Jake Livingston. And I haven't heard a whole lot about this book. I checked this book out from the library. I remember this being like really popular when it came out. And I just saw this on a list of recommended reads for, for one of uh, uh, Bree's booktube videos for Black Oweenathon. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give that one a try. I'm going to get it. And um, it's written by Ryan Douglas. One of the things I heard about this is it also takes place in a school where um, Jake also experiences like a lot of racism and I imagine microaggressions. And that is all I wanted to know. There was some elements. <laughs> I was talking with a friend of mine. Oh, did you start that yet? And, and I think there's some also spiritual uh I want to say ghosts in this book too as well and then as i and that's just because i see the hand right here around jake so i that's as far as i want to go i just know that this is a ya horror novel and uh yeah yes so that's that's my that's me introducing 
this next book. Okay, so I said that I talked about eight books, but I think I missed one. So this book that I'm also, that I'm going to talk to you about, I actually had this book on my TBR for last year for Black Awinathon 2021. And I'm going to get to this book next, this year because I feel like I struggled a little bit with it, with this read because it was on my phone and every time I went in to read it, I got a text message. So I was like, oh my goodness, I, I just need to get a tablet that doesn't have like <laughs> any text message capability or DMs attached to it, but just kind of like use it for um, a way of just reading books. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me tell you what the book is. So the book is No, no Gods, No Monsters by Cadwell Turnbull. I actually read um, The Lesson by Cadwell Turnbull, and I actually read that for uh, Blackathon, which happens every, every February, and it was good. And one of the things that I've heard about this book is that not only is it a fantasy, but I feel that it is a horror because i read the description and i remember reading this last year is uh one october morning uh lena gets the news that her brother has been shot and killed by boston cops but what looks like a case of police brutality soon reveals something much stranger monsters are real and they want everyone to know it so as creatures from myth and legend come out of the shadow seeking safety through visibility their emergence sets off a chain of seemingly unrelated events Members of a local werewolf pack are threatened into silence. A professor follows a missing friend's trail of breadcrumbs to a mysterious secret society. And a young boy with unique ability seeks refuge in a pro-monster organization with secrets of its own. Meanwhile, more people start disappearing, suicides and hate crimes increase, and protests erupt globally, both for and against monsters. I think this is... I think... I think this book is Cadwell Turnbull's second novel and I think this is going to be a trilogy or a this is the first of a series so I cannot wait to read this I was hoping to get to this last year but I didn't but definitely this year I'm gonna read this book and I'm I'm like thinking now if I should just actually read this earlier so since I didn't get to it last year so yeah that might happen. So if you all follow me on Instagram or through on Storygraph, you might see this pop up um, as finished sooner rather than later. Okay, so another book that I picked up, I got it as a read that I might not finish in October, but I probably will likely start it in October. And that is uh, Pieces um, by Helen Oyeyemi. What this book is about is... is these two characters jump on this train. They declare their love and Aunt gives them... Oh, okay, okay. says, when Otto and Xavier Shin declare their love and Aunt gives them a trip on a sleeper train to mark their new commitment and to get them out of her house. Sitting off with their pet mongoose. Oh, there's a mongoose. Oh, that's who... Okay, I thought that was a ferret. I'm way off. Okay. <laughs> their trip on this former... Um, tea smuggling train has been curated beyond their wildest ima imaginations, complete with mysterious and welcoming touches like ingredients for their favorite breakfast. They seem to be the only people on board until Otto discovers a secretive woman who issues a surprising message. As further clues and questions pile up, the trip upends everything they thought they knew. Otto and Xavier begin to see connections into their own pasts, Connections that now bind them together. Oh my goodness. I almost want to read this first. Yeah, so I, I was looking up this author and the other books that they had in the library were checked out. And those were Boy Snow Bird. What else was checked out? Oh, I know. White is for Witching. That was the book I wanted to originally read as a part of my Black One, Black at the Weenathon TBR. But this was the only book that was left in the library. So I was like, okay. Well, I'll just read this one instead, and it just seems really cool now that I read the description of it. But yeah, I I um I just saw that I just think the cover is like really cool too. So I checked this one out, and I wanted to read it. So I probably will start this maybe at the end of October, depending on how far along I am with my TBR, and then get to that one. So yes, okay. These last two books that I'm going to be reading for the month of October 
are both indigenous reads and I cannot wait to talk about them. This book that I'm going to show you first, it's an indigenous read. It hasn't been published yet. It's not out yet unless you have an ARC. It's by Marcy R. Rendon Sinister Graves. I actually, I got a review. I got an advanced review copy of this and it, okay, so this book, I think it relates. I, I put a um, Instagram, um, I put out an Instagram post for this book. So I just took a picture and then I was so excited. Yay, I got this book. And I'm probably going to be reading this pretty soon because the birthday date for this book is October 11th. So that's coming up really soon. And it's not that long. Um, and the other, so this book is called Sinister Graves by uh, indigenous author Mar Marcy R. Rendon is uh, from the White Earth Nation. I think it's Anishinaabe or Ojibwe. And I actually have the first two books to this, which is, the first book is Murder on the Red River. And then the second book is called Girl Gone Missing. So both of those are the first two books for the Cash Black Bear mystery series. So yes, it, this book is, it, it's a mystery, but it's oh, it's so much more than that. I swear the character development with Cash is why I wanted this book so bad. I know sometimes I'll, I'll give a review, especially for this last book, Girl Gone Missing. Dude, the plot is used to build the character Cash. So Cash is just this pool sharking, awesome indigenous <laughs> college student. And I think she just has this ability to sense like what is going to happen or what has already happened. And so she, it, it's, it's like this spiritual ability that Cash is, has. But when you read it, it doesn't seem like this romanticized, native, gimmicky thing. It just, it's just a part of who she is. At the end of book two, it just like broke me in half. So <laughs> I think that book, uh, I ended up giving it like four stars or close to it. So yes, Sinister Graves comes out October 11th. Go get it. Um, and if you haven't read the first two books, I suggest you get those. Sinister Graves by Marcy Arman and can't wait to read it. Okay, so the next book, I got an ARC, another ARC by a really awesome indigenous author. And sorry if I'm not looking at you, this is because I'm looking at this um, little paper that the book comes with. And this next book uh, comes out in on February 7th of next year of 2023. So that book is called Venko by Cherie Demoline. So yes, uh, indigenous author, Métis author, Shri Demoline, she wrote Empire of the Wild, uh, The Marrow Thieves. Uh, so yes, uh, this book, I'm so excited. I'm going to read the back because it just sounds so awesome. There's no way I can explain this. So uh, Métis Millennial, Lucky St. James and her cantankerous grandmother, Stella, live fugally in a tiny Toronto apartment. But then one night, something strange and irresistible calls out to Lucy or Lucky. I'm sorry. She burrows through a wall to find a tarnished silver spoon humming with otherworldly energy etched in etched with the world Salem. Lucky is familiar with the magic of her indigenous ancestors, but she has no idea that the spoon connects her to a teeming network of witches who have anxiously awaited her discovery. Enter Venko, a company fueled by dark money, Venko's witches Hide in plain sight where women gather, Tupperware parties, mommy and me classes, suburban book clubs since colonial times, they have waited the moment the seven spoons will come together and ignite a new era, returning women to their final, to their rightful power. To find the last spoon, Lucky and Stella embark on a rollicking and dangerous road trip to the darkly magical city of New Orleans, where a final showdown will determine whether Benko will usher in a new beginning. A wildly imaginative and compulsively readable fantasia of adventure, history, Americana, feminism, and magic. Venko is a novel only the supremely gifted Cherie Demoline could write. And as you see, if you look at this title, you see Coven. I'm sure you all, <laughs> you all saw that. But yes, I cannot wait to read this. I'm really excited. Um, I'm pro again, like what I said, I think that I'm going to start this book in the beginning of, or at the end of October and finish it in November, which is of course Native American Heritage Month. So I hope you all have all of your indigenous TBRs lined up 
And also, I have a pretty awesome announcement coming up pretty soon that has to do with November. So, yes. Um, yeah. So, this is my ARC for Venko. And I am so excited to be reading all of these books. And I am so excited to be back here with you all. I am... I know I've been inconsistent, but I think one of the things that I'm really excited about is just re just to be simply reading again. I think um, I need to put myself back in a healthy space where I'm creating time for me too. So it can't always be about work, right? But I, I want to be able to um, spend time with my family and enjoy time with my family, but also enjoy time reading in October. So yes, here is my October TBR. And I hope you all are having an awesome day. I hope you all are participating in some really awesome readathons and, and, and reading challenges on, and what have you for the month of October. So yes, okay, if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to put down uh, maybe a broom. Is there a broom emoji? I don't know, but put down a witch emoji or a pumpkin in the in the comments. And also, let me know what you all are reading or what book are you most excited about for the month of October. So yes, I shall talk to you all soon. And take care of yourselves. Be happy. Be safe. I hope you're all doing very well. And I shall talk to you all later. So, bye. <laughs>